Hello everyone, this is Frank from Quiz and Survey Master. In this video, I'm going to show you where to use CSS to make minor style changes to your quizzes and surveys. Right now, we are on my test site, which already has Quiz and Survey Master installed, and I've already created one quiz titled My Awesome Quiz. Here's what the quiz currently looks like. And while it does look nice on my site currently, there may be some minor changes I want to do to it. For example, for some reason, maybe I want the color to be green and I want to remove some of this extra space here. Well, if I didn't know CSS, there's not many options in Quiz and Survey Master to make these minor changes. So I may reach out to a developer friend or post in some forums or reach out to Quiz and Survey Master support and they may give me some CSS. The question is, what do I do with the CSS? For example, in this email for myself, I sent some CSS to make the changes that I wanted. You have a few different options. In WordPress 4.7 or newer, there's an option titled additional CSS in the customizer. To get there, we can go to the appearance menu and click on customize, which would look like this. And there's a new option here titled additional, additional CSS, which we can then copy our CSS and paste it into to see our changes. If you're using an older version of WordPress, there is a plugin called Simple Custom CSS. So we can go add new plugins and search for simple custom CSS and you want to install this plugin here and then activate it. This will add a new page to your appearance menu called custom CSS, which looks like this. And you can simply paste your CSS here and then click update custom CSS. If you are a little bit more technical, you can add this CSS to your child theme, going to your appearance menu and clicking editor, which would open this page, and you can add the CSS here at the bottom. However, while this is usually the better solution, this is a little bit more technical, so I would not recommend it for those who are non-technical, mainly because if you were to accidentally paste this CSS into the wrong file here, such as the functions file, if you went in here and pasted it randomly and clicked save, you would crash your website. So this is definitely slightly more technical, but if you know what you're doing, this is another option as well. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Quiz and Survey Master support using the help page within the plugin which you can find here or on our website 